Everybody talks about shadow work and the shadow self, but nobody really gives you information on what to do. They never really tell you how to do shadow work. And so this video, I really wanted to explain how I learned to do shadow work in my journey, how I'm still working on my shadow self and, you know, keeping myself balanced and really just being mindful of my shadow self. We're going to talk about the shadow self and shadow work and how to actually do it. Do you think human lives matter in other gaps? So for me, I believe that there's three steps when it comes to shadow work, okay? One is actually understanding what the shadow self is. And I did do another video explaining what the shadow self is. It is a side of you that is there to protect you. It comes out in different forms, you know, um, possibly emotions and behaviors. And it comes out at times when your soul or your energy is not in alignment with who you are or your true self. Um, so that is what the shadow self is, okay? It is a side of you that is triggered by things that are not good for your soul and it comes out and it behaves and it causes you to react in ways that is not of the true self. Number two, you wanna learn how to be mindful of these behaviors and these emotions and the energy that is around you when your shadow self is leading, okay? You wanna be aware and you wanna be mindful so that you can learn how to control or shift, actually know when it's time to do the shadow work, okay? Number three is when you're gonna have to actually do the work, all right? So I'm gonna speak about the work, Shortly, I'm going to give you guys an example of how an experience of mine along my journey, how the shadow self came out and um, what happened, okay? So I met a guy, everything was great. He was super attractive. Um, and this is the one I did the story time on. And, you know, everything was good. Like, I really, really was into him. He was into me. And, you know, when you have that situation with somebody, you can feel when you guys have that energy, when you guys are into each other, you know? And so we were really into each other. And on the surface, he was perfect for me. And on the surface, I was perfect for him. But as we got to know each other, you know, um, he's a Libra. And so he's very charming and he loves to communicate. During the course of the relationship, he started to tell me certain things like he never wanted to date a woman with children or he would tell me things that he expected out of me and, you know, what he was looking for in a woman. And instead of me really listening to what he was saying and understanding myself, realizing that I am not the woman that he is looking for. I tried to conform to be the woman that he wanted me to be. You know, I was using all of the energy that I had to try to prove to him. And this was subconsciously. I didn't even realize I was doing it. I just know that I liked him so much that it was so many things that I was doing, giving him energy. And I was neglecting myself. I wasn't being my own true self. And because of that, all right, because of that, that is when my shadow self appeared. So instead of being this vibrant, beautiful source of energy that I normally am, I started to be my shadow self. I started to be insecure. I started to be jealous. I started to, you know, be emotional and do stupid shit that I just normally wouldn't do. And it's because I was in a state of protection. You know what I mean? Like my shadow self was trying to protect me. So I was starting to feel unease. I was starting to feel just emotional and unfulfilled. And if you think about what I said when it comes to he was telling me the things that he wanted in a woman. And because it wasn't natural for me to be those things that he wanted me to be, he felt it. He felt that I was being unauthentic because the version of me that he was receiving was my shadow self. And in all actuality, I was receiving his shadow self as well because what it is that he really wanted and needed in a relationship, I wasn't naturally able to give. So both of us was in relationships with our shadow self. 
when it comes to that, this can happen in a job or anything. You know, me, I work at a certain nursing home and I love my patients. You know, I love some of my coworkers and I really enjoy being there. But then at the same time, it's not in alignment with who I truly am. And so after being there, you know, when I start working and I do doubles or I'm working every day, I start to get stressed out. I start to get, you know, real emotional and I'm unable to perform as the nurse that I naturally am when I'm in a peaceful and higher state of being, okay? So the shadow self comes out in different times, you know? And so it's very important. Now, this is where the work start. It's very important to communicate your needs. So you see in that relationship that I had, you know, I didn't communicate my needs. I didn't communicate like, hey, I'm not this type of woman. This is not the type of woman that I am. Because if I did, if I was authentic and I heard what he was saying, instead of hearing what it is I wanted to hear, I would have been able to realize way earlier on in a situation that we were not made for each other. Yes, we may be attracted and yes, we may be better off as friends. But instead, I actually went against my true self. I went against what it is that I wanted and what it is that I needed. And I tried to, you know, be something that I wasn't. He was just being himself, you know, speaking how he feel. But every time he would say something that would go against who I naturally am, it's like I would just get even more in my shadow self in that relationship and if y'all know that relationships are mirrors to who we actually are it is a example of the choices that we make it is an example of our taste and you know what we like what we want what we're willing to settle for so when you're in a relationship and this is something that i had to learn like i have to be very careful of the choices and the people that i choose because it's an example of who i am and what i'm settling for the work that it is that i'm doing from this point on is i'm going to start to pay attention to my triggers and i believe that is the number one thing when it comes to shadow work pay attention to what triggers you what makes you feel angry what takes you away from the peace and the love that you feel when you're in your higher self you know when you're at peace we got to start paying attention to those feelings because that's when the shadow self will start to peek out and it'll be like what you doing you're not doing what's best for you so i'm gonna come out and i'm gonna start making things havoc so that you have no choice but to leave that situation you get what i'm saying that is the shadow self's purpose it is there to protect you but you have to be in control you have to understand understand that if you're mindful, you have to be mindful of what it is that triggers you. You have to be open and honest about who you are, what you're willing to settle for, and what it is that you want in life. You can't half-ass anything. The spirit will not allow you to half-ass anything. So you might meet somebody and they may be halfway perfect, but if they are not in alignment with your mind, body, and soul, it's not going to work. They're not going to even get to know who you truly are at heart. You know, so that is something that I'm definitely doing now. You know, if I meet someone and they're not in alignment with who I am, they don't resonate with my mind, body, and soul, it's no point in wasting time because that is all it's going to do is have my shadow self start coming on out. And then you're going to have regrets because you know you're better than that. And you know that that's not you, the person that they look at you and they say, oh, this person is insecure. She's emotional. She's not vibrating of a high vibration and people can feel that so when you stay in situations that is not good for your soul that don't make you happy is going to bring your vibration down and that is the key to shadow work recognizing your triggers recognizing what is not for you and being able to walk away message and that is when it comes to relationships, work, family, friends, whatever if something is not setting your soul on fire if something is not bringing you peace, you have to be okay with letting it go because there's nothing in this world that's more important than your peace. Nothing. Like this morning, I was working out and, you know, I started to think about all the things that I've been through and the last situation that I was in and, you know, how... Um, how I can learn from it. You know, we have to start doing this with every situation. Um, what can we learn from this situation? What is this person here to teach me? What is it, you know, especially when you're triggered, you know, what is it that I need to learn from this situation? Why am I feeling like this? You know, we have to start being aware. And I had a good friend, King, he used to tell me, you got to start watching yourself like a movie, you know, reading yourself like a book and just paying attention to yourself as you would a brand newborn baby, because you are delicate. You are worthy. And the day you really don't have nobody but yourself that is the that is, you are who god gave you to be responsible for so 
yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you learned something. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Comment. I love your feedback. Make sure you check out all my other videos. And um, yeah, I have the Be Divine Minded Journal book. I'm super excited. It is now available. Click the link. Um, I'll put it in the description box. It's a book of spiritual truths. And it has some resources in there for all of you that want to learn about crystals, herbs, and you know different flowers, how to do different rituals. I have different prompts in there so that you can record your very own spiritual journey and i'm sure you're gonna love it so make sure you check that out as well find me on instagram y'all is everything is at be divine minded my website is be divine minded.com my instagram is be divine minded and i also have a online store is be divine minded shop where i sell crystals and sage and you know yoni eggs and i have yoni steaming herbs i have different herbs for breathing i have a bunch of things and as i grow and i learn i'll be sure to continue adding things that I use and things that I think will be important for you for your divine journey. So I love you all and always remember to be divine minded.